Hey everyone, today I'm going to be filming my empties video for November. Everything is in my Tom's bag. So let's just get started. I have a lot of Lush items and I don't really remember the names, but I have the packaging. So let me show you guys. This is what the packaging looks like. So the first one I finished up was a yellow one and it was uh, one that was just pure yellow and it had blue in the inside. I'm not for sure the name of it um, just because it's been so long ago, but if I remember, I'll try to find the name and put it right here. The next one I finished up was a bubble, one that makes bubbles, so, you know, one that you pull apart and you put it in your bath and it makes bubbles. It's not a bubble bar, I don't think. I don't know. It's something, and it was completely horrible. It was such a fluke that it did not make any bubbles, and I remember in Hawaii, the lady that was helping me, because it was like one of my first times ever to Lush, because the closest Lush I have to me is in like Santa Monica or in the LA area, but, um... I don't drive out there enough to go to Lush. So anyways, she was helping me and I told her I just want, you know, something that makes bubbles and she gave me this and it was smelled like roses and it was a complete fluke. It did not make any bubbles in my bath at all. So that was a complete bummer on this one. And the very next one I had was pink and it had hearts in it. And when you put it in your bath, there is little hearts and it was so cute. But at the end of your bath, all the hearts stayed in your bathtub and your heart, your bathtub was filled with hearts. So that one was one of my favorites. I, my all over favorite one I have ever used from Lush though is their Butterball. It's like the most simple one, but it doesn't give me a headache. It makes my skin, my skin so soft and so smooth and it smells like vanilla. And it's called their Butterball and I think it's like $4.95. So that one's definitely my favorite favorite but all over I would give that like bubble one zero points because absolutely made nothing in my bath um the heart one I would give like a nine out of ten because it was so cool seeing the hearts and I really really loved the yellow one that had the blue in it because my water ended up turning green and it was like so like cool and like relaxing in a way so I really really have fell in love with blush lately the next thing I finished up is Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Towelettes, and this is a pack of 40. These are really good. I just actually stopped using these, and I went to Neutrogena because Neutrogena does not burn my eyes, and these ones burn my eyes so much. They're from the Walmart brand um, Equate, which I really love Walmart brand of a lot of things, but not cleansing towelettes just because they burn my eyes so bad. This is like the third pack I have finished using up and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to switch over to um, Neutrogena. Even though it's a little bit more expensive and you get less towelettes, your eyes do not burn and it takes off your mascara, which is a bonus for me because I wear waterproof mascara and it does not like to come off. The next thing I finished up is my Pordor. This is a healing conditioner. This was my favorite item they sent to me. This was amazing. It made my hair so like nice and silky. It helped with my hair so much and it smelled like vanilla. It's the best smelling conditioner I have ever used. This was amazing. I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 just because this was one of my favorite conditioners I have ever used. So it was really good and I would definitely recommend it to you guys. The next thing I have finished up is two deodorants. They're both from Arm & Hammer. They're the Ultra Max Powder Fresh. I have noticed lately that these have not been helping my um, underarms at all. And they're actually making my armpits stink. So I'm going to stop using these and go back to Suave or, or not Suave. Is it Suave? No, it's Secret or Dove. I don't like Suave. Um, so it's going to be Secret or Dove that I go back to. I always switch between these three. When my body starts kind of getting used to them, then I switch it up again to Dove or Secret. So I will probably go back to Secret because Secret has like the cocoa butter one and that is my favorite. So I really, really did like these, but now they're just not starting to work because my body is getting used to them. So I always switch up and I never really use the same deodorants. I have a Rimmel London and Just Let It Go Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Now this was a okay. I really, really wanted to find a dupe for my Clinique one that actually Pretty and Plus 365 sent me. And I haven't had it in forever and I really, really do love that eye makeup remover from Clinique. So I think I'm just going to go out and buy the Clinique one because I really, really miss it. And it's been um, forever since I've had it and I've just been trying to find a dupe for it. And I cannot find a dupe for it. But if you guys know a dupe for the Clinique... Um, eye makeup remover please let me know this was definitely not it it was okay it did the job but it wasn't the best like with the Clinique one it was like a oil based I think and it just like took your eye makeup off immediately and it did not burn your eyes this one kind of burnt my eyes a little bit and I just I wouldn't repurchase this honestly I would give it like a 5 out of 10 it was nothing special it did the job but it burnt my eyes 
The next thing I have finished up is my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I have used these up so many. This is probably like my fifth one of these. These are my favorite foundation. This and the Revlon Color Stay from the drugstore are my two main ones that I lean towards. Um, if you want to know my two favorite drugstore ones, CoverGirl and Revlon. Those are like my babies. I actually have to go out and repurchase this just because I'm completely out. My shade is Warm Beige 845. That is my dark shade that I am in the summertime. I'm actually 842 in the winter time. So those are the shades I kind of fall between. Um, it's a really good full coverage foundation. I would definitely recommend it. And the next thing I have finished up is my NYX HD Concealer. This is the bomb.com. This is my favorite concealer ever I have in my collection. I have MAC, I have Urban Decay, I have Kat Von D. I have so, I don't have Urban Decay, I have Kat Von D. MAC. I have a whole bunch of concealers that I have been trying lately. And this one is hands down my favorite. And it's so affordable since it's from the drugstore. I think it's like five or six bucks, maybe $6.99, $5.99, somewhere along those lines maybe even $4.99. It is so good and I always get it when Ulta sends me the coupons, um, spend $10 and get $3.50 off or whatever it is. So I always pick these up. I'm already on my second tube right now and these are the bomb diggity. Like honestly, you want a full coverage concealer, get this NYX HD because it's the bomb. And the last thing I finished up is my Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow. It completely dried out on me. It's just not even workable. So I'm going to toss this as well because I already have another backup going right now. So this was my all over November empties. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're new, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel to mean the world to me. And please give this video a huge thumbs up because it helps me so much. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Peace.